Hi! In this video, we'll delve into the iOS code signing procedure. Ensure that you have completed the necessary prerequisites for code signing and generated the essential files. These files will be necessary for the code signing process. The link to the prerequisites video is available in the description. These are the simple and easy steps to code sign your app for iOS. From the deploy section, go to the mobile app and create one. Click create new and pick the desired application. In this demonstration, we'll choose the application type for the portal and set the platform to iOS. Proceed to the next step. At this point, you can choose to upload a custom icon, but for our demonstration, let's stick with the default icon. Next, upload the files that you generated in the prerequisite step. .p12, .mobile provisions, .p12 push notifications. Enter the password created during the .p12 file download. Next, upload the .mobile provision certificate. Enable the toggle button for push notification to upload the .p12 push notification file along with the password. Click Code Sign to start the code signing process. It might take a few minutes to complete. The code signing process is now complete and let's proceed to download the IPA file. In the App Store Connect account, navigate to My Apps and click the Add icon to create an app. Click New App to create one. Here, choose the platform as iOS. Name the app, choose the primary language. Before selecting the bundle ID, make sure to choose the one created earlier in the Apple Developer Program. Give a distinct name to SKU since it's the unique ID for your app. Provide full access to the app and click Create. The app is now created in the App Store Connect. Users can access the app through mobile device management they use in their organization. Alternatively, you can share the app's invitation link to the users. Meanwhile, customers can access the app by logging into the app's URL or by downloading and logging in through the rebranded mobile app on their mobile devices. For this demonstration, we have a custom domain specifically for the customer portal. Additionally, we have added an email address to the portal to test and access it as the customer. In this final step, open the Transporter app from your Mac and click Add app to upload the .ipa file which we downloaded earlier from Creator. After uploading, click on Deliver. Here, we are mapping the app by using the bundle ID in the App Store Connect. You can view the log after the delivery is completed. Then, from the App Store Connect, let's add a group in the app's name to add a tester in order to test the app. Before testing the app, ensure that you've included your testing device in the Apple Developer Program under the Devices section. Once a tester is added, an invitation link will be dispatched to the respective email address. Accept the invitation on the testing device, in our case, it's the iPhone. Click Accept and then proceed to install the application on the mobile. After the installation is complete, click Open and log in with the provided credentials to access the app. Awesome! We are able to access the app. As we can see, there's no trace of the text Zoho Creator anywhere. In our case, domain that we use for testing purposes is shown here. You can include your company's existing domain name in the portal URL. Furthermore, Customize the portal sign-in page with your brand name and logo to enhance credibility for your customers. We are on the last leg of the code signing process. The only remaining step is to submit the app to the App Store. In the App Store Connect, click the Add for Review button to submit your app to the App Store. After it's added, the app typically undergoes a review process that takes approximately 24 hours. After the cooling period, your customers can download the white label solution as a native mobile app on their devices. That brings us to the end of this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video releases. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.